Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and this is going to be a quick video going over the brand new Valmonica and Centurion cards revealed today. We got some brand new cards, uh, Valmonica Counter Trap, and two main, oh, one's main deck and one's an extra deck, Centurion Monsters. These have all been revealed out of Rage of the Abyss, so let's get straight into this. So first things first, we have the Valmonica Counter Trap, this is Valmonica Iretti, uh, if you're not saying pronounce this, I could be horribly wrong. It's a counter trap. You can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name once per turn. Uh, when a spell trap or monster effect is activated and you control a Valmaga Lake monster, negate the activation if you do destroy that card. Then, its second effect is you can banish this card from your graveyard, travel one mail Monica card from your graveyard banishment or face up extra deck into the deck up to one of, up to the number of residence counters on your field except Valmaga entry when then you can draw one card for every three cards shuffled so basically it just solemn judgment for the archetype which they usually give solemn judgments to bad archetypes if they were or just archetypes that kind of work with them like ever since infinity came out which was had like, like infinity barrier uh basically they're like well if an archetype isn't doing so good, let's give it a searchable judgment. And here we go. We have a searchable judgment. So now, this archetype actually has some potential. I know they already had some other support revealed and already came out that actually makes it a playable deck now. Well, now this playable-ish deck has a counter trap, which is pretty solid. So if you want to play a Valmonica engine in your deck, if there is a way to search out this trap, which it probably is, because I think all the Valmonicas, if you have like three residence counters... Uh, you can start searching things. So you can probably search this out in your combo and now end on a counter trap plus a link three. That'll probably like interrupt their board in some way. Overall, really, really cool and really awesome. Now the second effect of shuffling all the Valmonica's back and then drawing three, that's cool. I don't like that it doesn't shuffle back itself. Like, yes, I get it. You banished the first copy, but you're telling me if you have a second copy or a third copy engraved, you can't shuffle those back. That's kind of annoying. But, oh well, what can you do? It just says, hey, once you got this song judgment, you're not recycling these. You just can't be reusing them. You get three, and that's it. I guess so. I guess so. Well, if you can't win with three song judgments, I don't know what else to say. But, uh, hope you all enjoy. And let's keep going to the Centurion cards. All right, so let's go over the brand new Centurion cards. So first things first, we have Centurion Camilla. This is a brand new level 4 dark pyro effect monster. 1200 attack, 1600 defense. You only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. When your opponent activates a monster effect as chain link 2 or higher, quick effect, you'll make this card's effect become your opponent places one Centurion monster from their face up field or graveyard to the face up spell and trap zone as a continuous trap. Also, you can't spell some of the rest of the turn except. Uh, well, you can't spell summon Centurion Camilla for the rest of his turn. Then, during the main phase, it is cards is a continuous trap spell. Summon it. So, I get the idea for this card is basically, hey, if your opponent is responding to one of your Centurions, let's say you look at an Imperm or a Veiler, and this guy's on field, you can just quick effect, place a Centurion monster that is face up on field or in your grave, into the spell and trap zone so it can resolve. For example, let's say you activate uh, their main deck level 4 that you want to go off. Well, that guy's trying to go off and your opponent has Imperm or some targeted negation for it. You can just be like quick effect or even player's turn, place into the spell and trap zone. Now it's a continuous trap so it will resolve because it's no longer on the field to be negated. Or let's say your opponent has call by for one of your monsters. Oh no, they're going to negate it because they're call buying it. I can reborn it onto the field now, or oh, not reborn, but I can place it into the spell and trap zone, so it can dodge um, cards like that. Overall, pretty interesting card. It's just another level four main deck monster, which the deck absolutely needed. Let's keep going. Uh, next, we have level eight light spellcaster synchro monster. This is Centurion Primera Primus. This is a level eight light spellcaster tuner. Twenty six hundred attack, twenty six hundred defense. It requires one tuner plus one non-tuner monster, so it's just generic. You can only use the first and third effect of this card's name once a turn. And this card is single summon. You can add one umbrella card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Then destroy one card 
you control and one card your opponent controls. So I don't like that you got to destroy a card you control, but it is cool that you can destroy a card your opponent controls. Then it says, if this card is spell summoned, you can't be destroyed by battle unless it's spell summoned from the extra deck. And then if a face up Centurion card you control leaves the field, by a bonus card effect, you can spell summon this card from your graveyard. That's a really cool comeback feature. Like, hey, I want to stick with someone on your opponent's turn. I need to come back. You can just destroy something, and then, bam, it comes back, back on the field. So then you can then use it as the synchro material. Uh, overall, these cards actually seem pretty good. Uh, I, a main deck monster is just a well inclusion because we already had two level fours and two level eights. So now we'll have three level fours in the archetype and three level eights. I don't know how many of the Centurion Camilla we're playing, uh, the main deck monster. Maybe a three of, maybe a two of, maybe even a one of. I don't really know enough about Centurion to tell you if it's much needed. I do think it's good that you can put monsters into the spell and trap, so... I think the new Whitewood Centurion deck actually has potential, so I don't know if uh, you're actually going to need these because Whitewoods is an archetype that exists, but who knows? This could be a cool one-of, and then as for the Synchro, I definitely think this is going to be a solid one to two of in the deck. Uh, literally just says, hey, I'm a free level 8 to help you climb into your 12s, and I get a search, and I get to destroy a card on field. Uh, sadly, you had to destroy a card you control, which I really don't like that. I don't know why it has it on here. It says destroy one card you control and one card your opponent controls. What in Centurion do you want to destroy in, in this? I really don't. Now, if you're playing Whitewood Centurion, that's not too bad because you can destroy, let's say, a Whitewood spell. And then you can just reset the spell because all the Whitewood cards do that once per turn. Which would be pretty decent. But other than that, I really don't see the point of destroying one of your own cards. But maybe you all can tell me in the comments if there's some like weird tech for doing that. Anyway, hope you all enjoy. Don't do anything stupid. See you all on the next one. And bye bye. <laughs>